Hello everyone. Every one. I am Interact and I cannot beat the Watcher. Uh, this is Dead Cells. I almost said Dead Cells 2. It's not Dead Cells 2. Um, so the Spike Shield is actually like the alternative to the other... If you watched the last episode, it's the alternative to the Frontline Shield for the meme build, I think. Uh, mostly because you parry. And I think when you parry is when it does... Uh, this number right here, this 161. Although that might just be the critical damage. Um, do I want to go main build? I think I'm going to stick with what I know and kind of just do brutality. I'm going to let the memes, you, you know, the good meme, you got to let it, got to let it stew a little bit. Let it mature like a fine wine. Apparently it's what memes are like. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm delirious because I've been fighting the Watcher so much. Not... I've not been fighting Delirium, I've been, and my dog keeps doing this every time I try and record. <laughs> Once again, as I say in all of my videos, apologies for the dog. He is an idiot, he does not know any better. There is a lot of gold here for some reason. Oh, it's a shield guy. I hate shield guys. I just told him to stop and he started again. Hmm, interesting. This is a little delicate. I don't want to uh, break it and get the 30 curse, but I want to get it. So I have to break the gold as well, uh, you know. Um, I want to put one point in tactics for the cooldown reduction. And I'm actually quite glad that I decided to come up here because there's a Bita Swarm. And if you've watched anything, you know that that is not my real voice, though I am from the south. I'm not from like, what was that, like a bad Louisiana accent, probably? Um, and I love me a Biter Swarm or two. Oh boy. A challenge rune? Why? You shouldn't have. I will absolutely take it and fail it. I feel like you don't get as many cells as you used to from, maybe it's just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Confirmation bias. Where'd that challenge rune go? Is there like an opposite of confirmation bias? Where, where did the challenge, am I blind? Um... Was it all in my mind? I'm gonna spam the right bumper. Here it is, okay, cool. There was a little bit of a glow that I saw. All right, so we're gonna do this. Are we going to succeed it? Probably not. Okay, so we cleared those guys out pretty quickly. I want these shieldy boys to- well, you know what, I'm just gonna- You know, I don't wanna miss my opportunity. They say you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Whoa. That was almost bad. Um... Whoa, buddy. There is quite a lot going on in here, in, in, in here, up in here. I don't know why I s currently sound like this. Uh... No, don't do it to me like this. Please, <gasps> please. They say they won't give Papa back unless I beat the challenge room. That's not true. I'm not under any form of duress. I enjoy this game quite a lot. Don't call the police, please. 
They said if the police get involved, then they'll send more of these freaking traps. Alright, I got the magnetic grenade. I just wasted money because I still want the hunter's grenade. Because if I can't beat the Watcher, I'm gonna at least get some freaking blueprints. I... Mm, I actually hate everything about these shield enemies. I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. Alright, there's a shop. Please have weapons of good varieties. None of these are what I am looking for, shopkeeper. I needed your finest melee weapon. Like this. This door understands me better than you, shopkeeper. Alright, that's the promenade. There's nothing special. I have already gotten the broadsword. Yeah, dead for a while. Yeah, he's dead like I am, but I'm dead on the inside. He's dead on the outside. Um, there's no point in picking up the turkey unless there's like a pick up a billion turkeys achievement. In which case, I don't really care. I'll pick up turkeys later. Right now, we are going to do this and make sure we don't dive past the cell guy. Spend them all on dice because I like gambling. I don't like gambling, actually. That's a fabrication. You take me to a six room in Isaac, I avoid it like the plague. Unless it's a daily and I've read that it's going to actually give me, like, brimstone. Not that I would cheat on dailies or anything. That would be unethical. Is it unethical? To cheat on single player games? I guess there is a, uh, kind of a leaderboard involved, so it's possible that would be considered not. Why did I just chug there? I think chugging was probably the wrong idea. Whee! I, love, I like the speed bonus from Brutality. What do you mean? What do you mean one minute and two seconds ago? Do you have anything for me, by the way? Nothing? Do you have anything, though? I think I've actually already determined that none of them do. Uh, so what have I not used it on? Like the bats, maybe? I don't think those can be elite, though. Maybe the mushroom man. Maybe the mushroom man. I've already gotten the blueprint from you, so I don't know why I thought maybe there'd be another one. Actually, I do know why. I thought maybe, hey, every mob has two different blueprints they can give you or something. Does not seem to be the case. Almost dropped into the toxicity right there. AKA Northern Lions YouTube comments. Am I right, fellas? Actually, half of that toxicity is honestly caused by me commenting on his Isaac videos, so... I don't really have any right to be talking about this. Uh, there is an elite boy, so let's do it. And let's just stack bleeds and let the biter swarm do their work, and then boom, look at that. Bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves a quick bow for. So is it really necessary? I, I mean, I understand, you know, procedural generation and everything. I mean, at a very cursory level. I don't understand how it works. I understand what it is. That's what I mean to say. Um, does my bow really need to fire an arrow in front of me? Doesn't it already do that when I use it? I mean, honestly, look at this. Like, it's firing arrows, right? But it also fires an arrow in front of me. Seems redundant, doesn't it? Does that scorpion actually just absorb that shot for you? Dude, you better, like, be thanking that scorpion. There is two of them now. Neat. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not giving you your rune back. Sorry, bud. 
Um, you know, it's tough. Like, I almost want the memes to be alive and to continue going survival, but I'm gonna go brutality. Because of the speed, man. What is this? Is this gonna be a survival? No, okay, it's just actually gonna be... You know what? I'm not even gonna read what you do. I'm not gonna read your affixes. I'm done with you. I'm done with having that toxicity in my life, okay? I don't need you, nutcracker, with your stuns when they're above 25% HP. Okay? I'm better than you. I'm better than everything you stand for, which is slow weapons. In a game about speed. So we already have a point in tactics for the cooldown reduction, so we're just gonna keep going brutality because it's freaking metal, dude. It's brutal with like some umlauts in it or something. Uh, can you please just let me down? Thank you. You know, Archer, I feel like you have more vision than you should have. I feel like you're a cheater, Mr. Archer. Uh, is this a shop? Ooh. It's a shop with a free fucking... Uh, freaking... Scroll of... Brutality? I didn't curse right there. Please don't demonetize my videos. I don't make money as it is. Recover 1% of your life with each melee attack. Also has additional brutality and damage. I like the Assassin's Dagger. I wish that it was a blood sword with those affixes. But what are you gonna do? Pierce is the first turn. Ah, quick bow's better. I like piercing. If it was Pierce's all, I might go for it. But just Pierce's first is kind of, you know, kind of putting me to sleep, dude. Also, having the ability to heal with your melee weapon, I think, is probably a good thing. I mean, okay, it's definitely a good thing. Let me start off by saying that. I know that it's definitely a good thing. Especially when you take as much stupid damage in this game as I do. Um, I'm gonna stick with Biter Swarm and Hunter's Grenade. I feel like Hunter's Grenade I probably shouldn't be carrying around considering I'm trying to do the Watcher, not farm for blueprints. But, uh, you know, why not do both, right? Grab this, there's a treasure chest. Please don't be a trap, I think I've already had one of those today. Ooh, twin daggers. A swarm of biters crawls from your victims. Oh man, that is actually a tough choice. The twin daggers are super good against bosses that you can get the three consecutive hits on, which I don't think the Watcher is. The recovery of HP is going to be really good against the Watcher. But Swarm of Biters is the sickness, and I am down with it. So let us proceed forward. Um, eh, nah. I'm gonna pass on that. So there's a, is that the Balance Blade? Well, I can't even get to it, so it's not even worth discussing. So yeah. These biters are going to get out of hand quite quickly. Also, they're dope. And... See, like, 700 damage from a single hit just because it happens to be the third attack is... really good. Have I missed anything? Yeah, like a little bit of stuff, but do I care? Nah, not really. The only thing I care about is my country, uh, is killing the Watcher. It's my guns, my god, and my country. In those, or that, in that order. All I care about is killing the Watcher, putting him in his grave, making him watch me watch him watching things. I 
I mean, the third hit crit is really good, but on like basic bombs, it feels unnecessary because I'm already kind of killing. All right, so here we are. Here, here is the moment of truth. This creature cannot be transformed. Okay. Um, so Mushroom Man cannot give me blueprints. That was actually stupid. Like, exceedingly so. Can you be transformed? No blueprint found on this. Mushroom Man. I feel as if we've had this discussion before. I feel as though it was even recently. I guess it's good for those guys. Uh, brutality, please? Thank you. It's not called the Tactics or Survival Update, now is it? Although, honestly, given the complete change to Survival, it might as well be called the Survival Update. Get them, biters. I believe in you. I'm gonna take a drink while I watch this unfold. Neat. Those things teleport so erratically sometimes. I hate how erratically they teleport. I do like the little flick that I just mid did there though. Um, so I think this hunter's grenade is actually going to be worthless for me here. Honest, I mean... I, have I tried it on a scorpion? I feel like I have. I, I guess I can give it a shot on a scorpion. Have I tried it on a shield guy? Hold on. Yep. Nothing for the scorpion. I'm taking damage trying to do this. Yeah, so Biter Swarm and uh, that thing have a interesting interaction. <laughs> To say the least. What am I taking all this damage from? Cannot be transformed. I would like to kill you before you hit me. Where are you going, biters? You got something over there, guys? What are you- Are they actually just breaking all of these, like, random, like, crates that are on the ground? It's quite interesting. So, I guess the Hunter's Grenade is actually worthless for me here. Because I've got all the blueprints from everything in here. So I guess, like, the next time I run... Ossuary or something, I'll bring a Hunter's Grenade. But outside of that... I guess I should hold off... For these runs. Stop wasting all my money and all of our time. Um, do I want Tactics or Survival? It's a good question. I think I'm going to lean towards some HP. Like, at least, well, Biter Swarm scales on survival. So it might actually not be the worst idea in the world to start getting some survival. Although that all kind of, like, hinges on me getting another Biter Swarm. Uh, actually, there's a shield right here, so... Um... This frontline shield might be worth using. Alright, I need to be ready for these things. Uh, there are two mushroom men down there. Did I- am I seeing this correctly? Is that a double mushroom man? Spawn? I was under the impression that the multiple mushroom man spawn was actually illegal in most states. It is in fact the double mushroom man spawn.
Hey, I'd like to aggro you, please. Thank you. What's going on down here, boys? So... Ooh, cake. Actually quite good. Um... I mean... It reduces all my damage taken. I might as well just get rid of this thing. Why is this guy trying to attack me? Interesting. I would like to get up here and check what this frontline shield is. I'm probably not going to be using it. Throws a grenade. Plus 25 damage. They still have a typo on Absorbs. Absorbs doesn't have an E in it. Um... It does scale with Brutality, which is actually the only reason I'm even considering it, and I'm going to use it. It's weird that a shield scales with Brutality, but I'm not really going to question it. I rolled right into your attack, huh? Is that how that worked? Come down here and fight me. Stop being little babies about it. Roll out of the way of the explosives. I'm running a little low on HP here. Hey! Speak of the devil, and the cake man appears. Thank you, cake man. I'm assuming that down there is nothing that looks like a dead end. It might be up here, or it might be way back there. Uh, is that the only places it could be? Let me look. So I think I've cleared, like... Yeah, I've cleared all the way up there. Where's my mouse? Like, this could be something, but I'm pretty sure that's closed off. So I'm thinking it's either, it's either down here or up here. And I'm gonna go with up here for the sole reason that I'm already here. Um, and why not? Alright, so there is a mushroom man. Look at his stupid face. Nobody likes you, dude. There we go. So it's looking increasingly likely that it's not here. Um, I don't know how I walked into that guy's attack like an idiot, but I did. So... Yeah, it's actually, like, can't be up there. Because that's a dead end. So we're going to go back. I actually have no idea where we are. How did... Okay, there's nothing down here. Besides this thing that's gonna try and kill me. And I guess drop some cells. Thanks for the cells. Uh, so that was... Well, there's my landing stun. Kind of a waste of time. I mean, I guess we got cells, which is nice. But at this point, if I wanted cells, I could just, like... Do some promenade runs. I knew that was going to happen, and yet I let it happen. <sighs> okay, please don't be a trap. I would appreciate it. A cluster bomb. Cluster bomb, you say? I think I'll take it over the flashbang. I mean, my weapons are pretty fast. I don't really need a flashbang stun. Let's go the way that doesn't involve the rune. Is it just an elite fight? 
I'm pretty sure that down that way is going to going to be the uh, the way to the Watcher fight. Why is he not fighting the uh, biters? That's really weird. They normally fight the biters. They don't just like walk around like idiots. What does this thing do, by the way? Just damage. Oh, they explode into viscera. I would like to not take damage from that. Is there anything that I, I can't really see much of anything though? I would. Hmm. Which is everyone's least favorite enemy, the Mushroom Man. Not to be confused with the Muffin Man, everyone's beloved childhood icon. I guess there's gold to be farmed. A curse chest. Surely you're joking. There's an infantry grenade. Is that going to be in an area that I can't get to yet? Yes, it is. Lovely. Uh, that's only an infantry grenade three. Still might have been worth getting. Okay, there's another place I can't get to because I haven't defeated the Watcher yet. Hello, Scorpion Man. This place is so labyrinthian. It's a real world. Look it up. Educate yourself. Do you know the Mushroom Man? The Mushroom Man? The Mushroom Man? Do you know the Mushroom Man? I freaking hate his guts. Oh, so this actually is the way that I'm supposed to be going. Although we do have a chest. That's a shop. It's a weapon shop. Um. If I could parry, if I if I had any confidence in my ability to parry properly, I would probably take this because three seconds of invincibility is pretty good against the boss. That's that's the biggest joke I've ever seen of a weapon. If that was on like basically anything that wasn't the Nutcracker, I would probably take it. Um, I kind of regret getting rid of the Assassin's Dagger, Assassin's Blade. Yeah, because these are twin daggers, so it's Assassin's Blade. Um. I missed this thing. Maybe there's an item in here worth getting. Maybe there's nothing. We won't know until we check, right? It's kind of afraid of someone like that. Okay, so once again, if I had confidence in my ability to parry, I might do it. I do not have confidence in my ability to parry, so I'm probably going to forego it for now. That's a cursed chest, not a real chest. That shop had nothing of note. Where is the teleporter? There we go. So with basically zero confidence in my build, my ability, and my focus, I'm going to go do the Watcher fight again. One of these days, I will actually beat this boss. Will today be that day? God, I hope so. Let me just look at my... Biter Swarm 1, dude. I'm really walking into this fight with Biter Swarm 1? <sighs> Alright. 932. 
A truly garbage build. I kind of wish that it was, you know, 12-1-1, uh, maybe? I don't know. Let's do the boss fight. Let's stop talking about stupid nonsense that doesn't matter and focus on what is in front of us, which is the Watcher. Perfect. This guy seems like really difficult to hit, dude. Like, when am I supposed to be getting my licks in, you know? Right now? Right there? But instead I took damage like an idiot? So thankfully, I actually have an ability to build up an army down here. So these tentacle phases should be easy. Should be being the operative word, because I'm taking damage already like an idiot. Um, it's getting to the tentacle phases that's really going to be the hard part, I think. And not taking, like, the stupidest damage in the world like that. I'm just, I'm taking so much bad damage here. There's gotta be some way to manipulate how he charges. Like, is this a charge? It is, okay. So I can manipulate it sort of. It seems really hard to manipulate though. Okay, so somehow we've pushed him into the second phase. That was a very bad time to do that. Take a drink while he's in stun. Block that. For obvious reasons, I think. Alright, one more left. Okay. We're in the third phase, but we have nothing. Drop some bombs on him. Is this a charge? It is. Okay, this is the crazy bullet hell quote unquote phase that I just got hit in after talking smack about. Beautiful. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. I... That hitbox is a little off, I think. I don't really think that that hit me. To be honest with you, I really wish my dog would not interrupt me while I'm trying to do this. Apologies for the dog, as per usual. believe I have drunk all of my health flasks. <laughs> and for what? Yeah, we're gonna go straight into another bullet hole phase and I'm gonna get hit like three more times and die. Mm. I have one hit that I can take. That's not good. Because I'm going to take a lot of hits in this phase. I... I thought I had rolled, but maybe I was locked into my attack animation. It's hard to tell. Anyways, thank you for watching.
if you enjoy this kind of thing and watching me miserably fail on the watcher seven billion episodes in a row uh, one of these days i'm gonna beat him i might just like stop recording until i beat him or something i don't know i mean i, I don't know comment if you want want to see that like the video if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more i put out a video of this a day plus some xcom 2 or the chosen stuff if you enjoy that kind of thing you can watch that as well if not just watch this i don't really mind Thank you for watching once again. I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode as my dogs ruin the outro as well as the entire episode. Goodbye.